there, fellow homo sapien. Are you looking for a cool place to hang out? Are you looking for a place to spend your time because you have no life just like the rest of us? Well, come on down to Hardy's Cafe, a new Discord designed just for an amazing viewer like yourself. Be sure to check the link in the description to join the server and enjoy the video. Here are the shoutouts from my previous video. Sorry I could only pick a few, there were so many of you guys commenting, so I tried to pick the most creative ones. Toxic T said, Assert my dominance. Kiachu said, Assert my dominance by choking your partner. <laughs> I don't know about you, but that kind of sounds like a kink. Exoshi said, How do you assert your dominance? Step one, T pose. Winnie B said, The only way I assert my dominance is by making a bomb ass cookie that nobody can recreate. Alpha AF. Konjo Kanji said, I shall assert my dominance by choking this man. Stellar Star said, Assert dominance by pretending to care for your actions. Again. And because I've recently received lots of beautiful fan art, here are some shoutouts to these beautiful, talented artists. A big thank you to Princess B or at Draws Lily on Twitter, Rose, my friend Sweaty, and Hot or Relax Ot, I think, on Twitter. Thank you for your fan art submissions. If you did not see your fan art, please do not be alarmed. I'll do my best to shut you out in my next video. If you'd like to submit fan art, please submit it within the fan art channel of my Discord or tag me on Twitter at HardyMcSmarty. If you guys would like a shout out in my next video, be sure to look for the pair emoji somewhere on screen during this video. Comment the timestamp when you find it, along with a message of something you might want me to say. And you may be one of the three people I shout out for the next video. If you'd like to turn on channel notifications, comment hashtag notification squad to be shouted out in my next video as well. With that out of the way, please enjoy the video. Hey there everyone, my name is Hardy and welcome to your daily dose of drama video. Now, hear me out, okay? I know you guys voted for a video on the Corona Chan controversy, and that will likely still be a future video, but instead, I've made this video because at this point, I should just get this topic out of the way. <laughs> We've all been at home due to quarantine, and during the month of March, Animal Crossing New Horizons was released. Now, I loved playing this game, like, beautiful game, okay, it was perfect, it was amazing. It was such an enjoyable and relaxing experience, and if you haven't played it, I honestly recommend it. Many amazing people have created beautiful room designs and island setups, placeable designs, and character-themed artwork. Like, it's mind-blowing things people have come up with for this game. And I recommend Tumblr or Instagram if, if you're in need of some cute, PG imported designs that are sure to up your island's cuteness factor. But that's not what this video is about, is it? <laughs> if you're new to the internet, you may not know this, but many people in the Animal Crossing community that draw art and, cre and create amazing designs for the internet to import into their games tend to create mature content. <laughs> Y'all are probably like, whoa, whoa, Hardy, what now? <laughs> I speak the truth. I I have seen I've seen terrifying photos of Isabel Tom Nook I don't want to get into it. I've seen a tweet where someone posted saying they're selling feet pics in this game. Like, don't get me wrong, we all need to make some money during quarantine, honey, but come on, people. And honestly, I think the worst part is people are selling photos of their birthday suits on Animal Crossing New Horizons. I'm sorry, AdSense. Please don't demonetize this video. I kind of need it. Anyway, lots of the community draws Animal Crossing characters in look concepts and have created inappropriate artwork with New Horizons. Because of the fact that players can import custom designs into their game through the Nook Link app, a problem with this is inappropriate outfits, content, placeable designs, etc. Now, I get lots of the Animal Crossing community are of age because the first initial Animal Crossing game was released to North America in September of 2002. But this game is rated PEGI3, which means it's rated 3 plus. <laughs> According to GFinityEsports.com, Animal Crossing New Horizons is described with the following, and very child-friendly mechanics as it operates in real time with colorful and creative characters. Yeah, you should check your facts there, pal. Now, I honestly can't show too much because this is going to get my video taken down, but honestly, in my opinion, Drawing characters from a game catered towards children shouldn't be okay. Think of it as drawing Elmo from Sesame Street naked. Yeah, I wouldn't want to picture that either. But I guess at this point, people find it entertaining, we'll say, from what I've seen. Lots of the community that's into drawing AC characters inappropriately draw lots of Isabel, Bella, I've seen some from Rover, Flick, the Able Sisters. Honestly, if you think of a character, chances are somebody has drawn it lewd. Besides the inappropriate artwork, something that grosses me out in-game is the designs people have created. <laughs> 
And I apologize for not having the tweet at hand, but there was a comic going around where an islander had been holding Timmy's foot and was admiring it, while his twin Tommy was trying to pull him away from the islander's grasp, and both of the brothers didn't seem comfortable at all. The adult content has varied from canvas designs to clothing to all sorts of type of custom designable items. Let's start with canvas designs. So people have been making not safe for children design prints that people can hang on their walls or display in their islands in game. And there's nothing wrong with downloading some QR codes of cute paintings you can hang on your wall or custom tile designs you can use. It becomes a problem when the design itself contains adult content. There have been people selling explicit content on Animal Crossing in order to make a profit off of the designs. This is completely inappropriate. The problem I see with is that if a younger player had recently gotten into importing designs onto his or her island and didn't understand that certain design was inappropriate, well, it wouldn't be too good now, would it? <laughs> now, it doesn't stop there, my dear viewers. Oh, no, no, <laughs> it does not. People have created outfits, like, like harnesses, like, ex harnesses, harnesses. Like, excuse me, this game is rated for toddlers and older. I don't understand. <sighs> Yeah, I remember a few years back when the not safe for children content surrounding Isabel was really bad. And I'm not saying it isn't now, but even years ago with New Leaf and City Folk, people have been creating artwork like this, and I don't think it's okay for children to be exposed to it. Now I can't stop artists from creating what makes them feel inspired, and I can't stop kids from seeing that artwork, or not safe for children content itself. My point about the situation is that characters from something catered towards children shouldn't be sexualized. Same way how we people believe it's not right to illustrate underage characters in an inappropriate matter. But anyway, comment down below your guys' views on this topic. I'd love to hear more about your guys' opinions on this situation. Be sure to join my Discord, which can be found in the description, and check out my community tab for updates, and to vote on future video topics. If you're up for it, feel free to leave a like on this video and show your support for the channel, and subscribe for more quality content. Yeah, sorry, that was kind of bad. And you know, if you want to click the notification bell or your in-game loans to Tom Nook will be paid in full. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys all in the next one.